Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my weekend reset. Every weekend does look a little bit different depending on what's coming in the week ahead, but I have a routine on the weekends that focuses mostly on indoor chores and just getting everything reset for the coming week. So I'm gonna share with you what I did this week and we'll go ahead and jump right in. I filmed this video on a Saturday, so in the morning I'm starting the weekend reset with the kitchen, which the kitchen needs to be cleaned up pretty much every day, so we are definitely always cleaning it because it gets the most traction. We're making multiple meals, but as you can see here, there was a little bit of a mess. I went to Costco the day before and got some bulk paper goods that'll last us for several months. I don't really do that very often, but I just happened to do it the day before filming this, so I'm gonna organize and put that away in the garage and then just do general cleaning in the kitchen. Just looking around, seeing what needs to be taken care of. The toilets needed to be scrubbed. I wanted to clean out the bathtub. I wanted to scrub down the kitchen. So just a few extra things I wanted to get to. And also the bedding needed to be turned over today. The weekdays definitely get busy, and to be honest, I do prefer outdoor chores to indoor chores. Um, I just like to be outside on nice days, but the weekend reset is really a time that I devote to indoor chores and also just a general scanning of the home to see what needs tender love and care. It's a good time too to check on indoor plants to see how they're doing and sort of um, clean them up, water them, check the soil. One of my favorite things to do when I'm done cleaning a space is to bring whatever is growing on the property inside. Right now we have a lot of lavender. In the next few months we're gonna have lots of fresh rose blooms and I'm very excited for that. But the lavender is absolutely gorgeous right now and so I brought that into the bathroom and then lighting a candle. These are my favorite, I get them from Whole Foods. They smell exactly like orange blossom. And the smell just doesn't, it's not one of those fake headache type smelling candles. I love them. I have two of them, one for our guest bedroom and one for my bathroom, and they make the whole entire room smell amazing. So speaking of the guest bedroom, this is obviously where we have any guests that come to stay with us, but also when my niece and nephew spend the night, they spent the night on Friday. So this is where my niece likes to stay in this room. And so it was time to turn over the sheets. Um, also turn over my boys' sheets. I like to do that once a week, preferably. I will be very honest with you that I am not the best with the laundry. 
I'm definitely getting better because I'm trying to find a routine that I can stick with. It is better if I do it throughout the week and don't save it all for one day. We do work and play outside a lot, so we get down and dirty. There's a lot of dirty laundry that needs to be done throughout the week. So during the weekend reset, I'm trying to focus on turning over the bedding and then also making sure the boys have all of their clothes ready to go for the coming week for school so we're not falling behind. I do think that like the socks are an issue for sure. We're always trying to find socks in the morning on the way to school. So just getting more organized is something I'm always working on. So just trying to be transparent that this is an area that I struggle with and I am forever trying to be better with my um, strategy. And I'm definitely better at laundry than anybody else in the home, but I'm still not the greatest. So yeah, just keeping it real. So the two back rooms definitely get the least traction because I'm pretty much the only one who comes back here. It's definitely not a play space. There are lots of expensive instruments and things back here. I'm doing a general reset in the music room because I do have a band practice here on Thursday for an upcoming gig this weekend. So normally when I'm done with the gig, I bring all my instruments back and my backpack and everything and reset in the music room. So I'm going to show you that process today. This is my Herschel backpack I take with me to gigs. It has my harmonicas in the front pocket. I have three different keys. I play cross harp on a few different songs. Um, that we play in the band. And then I also have on the inside my microphone, I have some chords, um, my chord charts, and my lyrics if I need to reference those for a gig. So I try to keep everything organized in my backpack. My tambourine, you know, all of my sort of accessories come with me in my backpack. And then when I'm done with the gig, I make sure to come back and organize all of my chords so they're easily accessible for rehearsals in this space. The very back room behind the music room is almost like a closet. I've used it for so many different things. The previous owners had it as an entertainment room, so they blocked out a window and it's kind of dark. Since the original intention of this room was to be an entertainment room and to be as dark as possible, and there was two windows originally, we didn't really know what to use this space for because we definitely prefer spaces that have a lot of natural light. Um, so originally we used this as a storage space for when I had my online shop. I've also used it for recording not only my own songs, but just voiceovers because it's great for dampening out sound if you want to record. But right now it's acting as a craft space. I have my sewing machine in here, Byron built me that table, knitting supplies, any craft things, and then also just a little bit of storage, so like instrument cases. We've also considered putting an extra pantry here because there is space, so when we start canning and want to store, we've thought about turning it into a pantry, I mean, there's just a lot of things to do with it, but it's also my cat's favorite place to hang out. So right now it is functioning as a craft room. Another very important part of reset is resetting everything for school. So cleaning out the lunch boxes, backpacks, things like that, just being prepared for the coming week school-wise too. Over the weekend, I like to clean everything for the lunch boxes. These are by far my favorite. I got these on Amazon and they are the best. They just lock the best and stay locked. And then I like the dividers as well. You can take these out and dishwash them or wash them by hand. So a package just came that I went out to get and two fun things came in the mail. So I got a soil block maker, the little seedlings, and then I got some new tea, Earl Grey vanilla. I love Republic teas. They're kind of pricey, but they're one of my favorite um, hot teas to drink. And then there was two samples that came with it too. This Calm Relax Tea and Cinnamon Toast Black. So Byron was making the dinner tonight and I had one more load of laundry that I wanted to get to. 
Plus we wanted to spend some time playing Monopoly with the kids tonight. And then my big goal was to get everything done so that on Sunday, it was a complete day off, just disconnecting from everything, no work projects, no house chores, just hanging out with the kids. So that is my goal with my routine, even moving forward is to try to get to that place where there's no chores on Sunday. Um, I'm actually watching one of my favorite YouTube channels while I finish laundry. It helps make the laundry a little easier to do since it's not my favorite uh, chore, uh, but I'm watching Homesteading Family. I really like a lot of their tips and a lot of their takeaways. So Byron made dinner after dinner. The kids were helping out with the dishes. So freaking cute when they help out. I just love these little dudes. <laughs> And, um, and then yeah, we told them that we would play a game of Monopoly before it was time for them to get ready for bed. Fun fact, my son Oliver took a pair of household scissors to his bangs the other day because he thought that they were getting too long. So definite mom fail. Um, they don't really like the haircuts they've been getting from their barber, so they're gonna start going to my hairstylist. She's a little far away and it's hard to get an appointment, so we have an appointment coming up for all the boys. And speaking of appointments, after the kids went to sleep, I came back to just work on the schedule for the coming week. That's another thing that I like to do for the weekend reset is to take a look at the calendar, see what's coming up. Are there any birthdays? Are there events? What's happening at school? Just really wrap my head around the upcoming week, get organized, write a list. This is a good time for meal planning, which we're trying to get dialed in and be much better about. My husband cooks a lot of the meals and we take turns grocery shopping, but we're trying to get the meal planning dialed in to have less food waste overall. That's something we're always working towards. And then I'm just trying to be better at managing my schedule and time management in general. For a time, I really got into planners and sort of decorating planners, but really when it comes to organizing for the family, I have to find the most efficient option. Excel has some really great templates for organizing, um, for organizing finances, scheduling. There is a master task list template that I got from another blogger. I will share it in my description, but right now I'm also using a camping trip planner that you can just find if you search in the templates in Excel really great for um, organizing camping trips which we have one coming up and then i'm just watching homesteading family in the background she's on another level look at that look at her pantry amazing everything that she can when it comes to planning and organizing i think everybody finds a method that works for them i like bullet journals as well i do like handwriting things out but i use a combination of my calendar on my computer excel spreadsheets and an actual agenda or journal. So I use a combination of both and it's really just about, you know, getting organized the best that you can for your family, your own family's needs, trying to make things run as smoothly as possible, um, even though we know it doesn't always run that way. But we do the best we can and try to stay flexible along the ride. So anyway, that completes this video. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.